Christmas is in full swing here at Barnell's, and that includes our annual open house. This year, we will be hosting Thursday, December the 3rd, as well as Saturday, December the 5th for on plein air demonstrations. We will see you there, and without further ado, here is one of our special guest artists, Jerome Weber. My name is Jerome Weber. I'm from New Iberia, Louisiana, and uh, I started painting approximately 10 years ago. I could always draw from a small child, but I did like most things, baseball, football, and, and other sports. And then later in life, when I became a, a, a bank president, I needed something for stress relief. So I took up art and started taking classes and found it was very relaxing. So since that time, I've been around the country painting and I started painting in oils. And so I, uh, like in this case, this is plein air. And this takes about two and a half hours. You do it live right in front. This is Melrose Plantation, the Pecan Orchard. And so you have about two hours to two and a half hours to do it or you'll lose your light. The shadows will change and everything else. Conversely, this is a studio painting of a picture I took in, in the Bayou Tesh in my boat. So I have, you, you can do it in layers. You can do a little bit more detail here than you could with this one. And this, this one right here, the turkey, I just did that. That's in the studio. That was for Thanksgiving I did uh, for my wife for, for the kitchen. So a little bit about plein air, you know, and which I'm going to do a, a demo. So this will be something similar. Plein air, you get, you set up, you, you, you might take a, a reference picture, but you basically just do it. And a lot of the great artists... Uh, Monet, uh, Van Gogh, all started off kind of like plein air painters because there was no light, bright light in studios. They had to paint what they needed to do during the daytime. Um, so I kind of picked that up. Uh, I've since started the uh, Shadows in the Tesh plein air in New Iberia. We are six years old and we get some of the top artists in the country to come and paint for a week in around uh, all of Acadiana. And uh, so I've learned and meet a lot of artists. I've taken lessons with artists from around the country. So I've got a little bit, so my painting is starting to pick up a little bit of styles of each painter. Knife work, uh, I use a squeegee. Uh, you see in the demo, I actually use a squeegee and a, and a piece of rubber that you scrape. So, um, you know, Rembrandt used the back of his brush, the, the handle to, um, put ve uh, veins and creases in people's forehead. So I kind of do the same thing. I find it's different, not everybody does it. I started painting as a stress relief. Uh, I've taken from local artists like Carl Groh, Melissa Bonin, and uh, I think they all taught me things about New Iberia, uh, Acadiana in general, and that's why I like painting Acadiana. I love the live oak trees. You can see a lot of my paintings always have live oaks in them. I find it's a unique tree, and I just like the mystic view that you can get from painting in South Louisiana. I'll be here on December the 3rd for the open house, and if you want to see some of the paintings and how I did it, come visit. On December the 5th from 10 to 2, I will be doing a demo, so I will show you how I use the squeegee and palette knife work and what I've learned, and I'll probably paint it in about two and a half to three hours. So if you want to see that, come on down.